Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition, potentially the finale, unless I get my butt kicked a lot, or maybe both, but, oh yes, I forget, we don't need to use any, so we'll just get the one, but a uh, pretty big change, huh, from the last time we were here. I don't like having to go into a narrow corridor. Every time I come in here, I always think about the uh, keepers that you find in here. Like at the beginning of the game. There's the rocket launcher. I realize there's cover and stuff around me, but I could use it, or I could just run around like a chicken with its head cut off with a gun, which is definitely my preferred way of playing the game. Cease! In the name of the law. With my little pistol, I will defeat you. <laughs> really? A grenade? I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that. In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my oh, sleeve. Oh, do I? You survived our encounter Pray on tell. Fire, But I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Yeah, mm, now he's all glowy. Looks almost like a husk. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. Mm -hmm. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. <laughs> I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Yeah, uh-huh. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you. Too. I just really am curious what those pipes are for, you know? Like, that doesn't look very comfortable. They just, like, jam right in through a suit. Like, what purpose do they serve? Like, are they pumping in nutrients to what? Like, ee. Ugh. Also, everything you just said just makes you go, are, are you crazy or are you insane? Seems, um, sort of redundant at that point. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic, Ooh. organic and machine, intertwined, a union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. Mm. I am a vision of the future, Ew. Shepard, the evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. It's funny, actually, because I did, uh, in the end of Mass Effect 3, uh, I guess spoilery-ish, I kind of, um, but I... Uh, I picked synthesis so uh, 
Potentially, he's not completely wrong. You know what I mean? Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. And because of um, me paragoning my way through our conversation with him last time, and also all the paragon points I have and all etc etc the, the fact that I'm invested in there is uh, means I don't have to do this uh, I can well I can do this version of the boss fight some part of you must still realize this is wrong you can fight this maybe you're right maybe there is still a chance for for <laughs> Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. You only get the chance to talk him into this. Well, not only talk him into suicide, but talk him into not being a tool for Sovereign. If you hit, like, those predetermined conditions. Oh, wow. Let's fix- everything's gonna be fine now. It is interesting to, like, have- I think this was one of the only games, especially at the time, that would let you, like, talk down a boss fight. Which, still to this day, I, I don't think you get much of, except maybe in indie games, but even then, I think maybe Undertale? I don't know, I haven't played Undertale. Um, but, uh, I need to, <laughs> but I haven't played it yet. Um, but yeah, it's still, like, you know, freaking, he went through a lot, and in the end was only able to, like, barely, like, choose his death, you know? But now everything's gonna be hunky-dory, don't worry about anything. Everything's gonna be fine. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Yo, what up? The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. Caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? When I first played, I really wasn't sure. It seemed potentially tactically smarter to hold back your forces, and to hit Sovereign really, really hurts. Um, however, in the game, if you pick saving the Ascension and saving the Council, you still use the human fleet to defeat Sovereign. So there's really, like, you know, like, it doesn't really matter. Also, like, you know, saving the council, like, if you want to think, like, long-term, which I really shouldn't be thinking long-term in this moment, I should be thinking, like, Shepard should be thinking, like, kind of an immediate thing. But, um, when the leaders, I mean, I guess you could say tactically, when the leaders are taken out, like, it can cause a huge morale drop. So, we have to save the leaders and defeat Sovereign. And we can do both. I think that's how I kind of pictured it, I think, when I first played, is I was like, I can do both, you know, like, I... Humans, we are, are. We can do it! Hooray! Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. They will a little. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Also, that's technically Admiral Hackett's call, not mine. I could say, come on in. But they are gonna do what Commander, they want to do. Picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. It's really cruel if you choose not to save them. They're like, yay, it's the Alliance! And then you you shoot right past them. And they're like, wait, no! Uh, come back! And it's like really terrible. 
but this is so cool. See, this reason this works is because the Asari and Turian forces were all here at the Citadel. They were already here, and so they got decimated. All ships move in. Concentrate so cool. Um, but because humans weren't allowed to be here with our forces, we were over in a different system, and only now we can come in to help. And we, we are fully, we're fully good to go. Hey, remember, make sure he's dead. Remember how I said, remember how I said everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's really cool. Like the human, like the human alliance, like we're, our, all our ships are fine because. We didn't get to be here. <laughs> they didn't allow humanity to, to station military presence here. It's kind of cruel, right? It's like, hmm, you gotta... Shepard's like, make sure he's dead. He's dead. But I mean, it's tactical. Okay, so now, Sovereign's getting pissy. And, uh... He is definitely dead. But the husks are also definitely dead. And those implants were no joke. Sovereign's like, we are gonna have this fight. Okay, so also, to be fair, I did actually talk my way through that boss fight earlier. If you don't talk Sovereign, er, uh, what's his name? Saren down, uh, you have to fight him up there. And you have to fight him down here. But now, now we just gotta deal with, like, the husk of Saren with a little bit of Sovereign. I am Sovereign. Yeah. And this station is mine. It's, uh, just being controlled by him. I can't fire. So gross. This is gonna, this is gonna, oh no. No, I don't like it. I did this, why isn't that working? Oh my gosh, it's so much. Oh my gosh, wait. Actually, we'll have him do that one. We'll have her put the shotgun on. I think her shotgun's good. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah. How did we get through that whole earlier section? them both on pistol. Okay, finally past the shields. Glitch it. <laughs> Stop. Oh, a sniper. Oh, hang on. Let's AI.
vagina. Calculated. It's like, oh, it's hopeless just sitting there and Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. It is not. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. So freaky. in this final fight and I'm getting close to the end I freaking I can't oh this messes up everything maybe this will fix it Like we're so close. Oh my gosh. Final form, JK. We're just kidding. <laughs> His final form is ashes. I think Sovereign put too much of himself into um, Saren. So the like combined battle on two fronts for him. For it. The shields are down. Now's our chance. It was a bit too much. Get it with everything we got. But it was only in tandem with the fleet. You know? 
Oh, I love this part so much. I just love seeing the space battles. Card on my flank. We're going in. Even if I don't get to do it myself, it's super fun to watch. Oh, look at my baby. Look at her go. That's my baby. Uh, and this was potentially not something people thought about. I mean, we probably did, but it still had to be done. No! But the debris. And that actually shows up in the next games, too. Like, um, all the, the debris that spread and, like, shattered everywhere. It wasn't just, like, the Geth coming in and fighting. It was all the... The debris did a lot of damage. It just free-floated into the arms. Good, good old humans. Captain Anderson, we found him. They're in here. Rex kept Tally safe. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? She was there. I was too far back. I pushed everybody away, and I was I was right in the path to make sure everybody else got out. Dad. Space Dad! It makes me almost tear up, honestly. <laughs> Even though I know, like, I know what happens, but I'm still like, oh, everybody's sad. <laughs> I died. <laughs> but did I? <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> Never count me out. My arm's broken. Dad, are you proud of me? Space Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. So I got a black eye, Ambassador? We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander. One we can never repay. Maybe try listening you to me. not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand oh, as a defender yeah. and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? I always support Captain Anderson, even though I know he's not technically, like, well, not always. When I'm paragoning, I support Captain Anderson because uh, uh, Udina threw me under the bus. And uh, also, like, as a soldier, I trust another soldier, which in the end doesn't really, like, it's not actually necessarily the best choice to pick Anderson because at, when, you know, at the end of the day, he is a soldier. He's not a politician. Like, he doesn't have the same connections and stuff that Udina does, nor does he have the same, like, drive for politics that Anderson does, or that Udina does. Um, but I definitely trust, like, sometimes, sometimes it really is, like, politicians can get too caught up in being politicians, and they lose sight of what it is to be, like, you know, a comp, like, more to have like a like what is it like politicians only get trained in politicking they very rarely get trained in like history science so they just that's why a lot of our politicians nowadays are morons <laughs> because they only get trained on how to talk rhetoric over and over around in circles they don't actually learn anything useful so like having someone like anderson who's like a 
a, a real person. <laughs> I don't know. But to be fair, the same could be said for military people that they don't really get the same edu you know, same like general education. Anyway, it's all sort of just whatever because you can just pick whoever you want in the game. You don't have to like justify it. But I personally trust and like Anderson way better, and I don't like Udina, and I'm not let I'm not supporting him. <laughs> We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Well said. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. <laughs> Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'm not picking you. <laughs> yeah, but see? We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. I don't get time for none of you people. I gotta go be epic over here. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as oh, one. Oh yeah. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. I salute you, sir. Yay! <laughs> epic post credits or uh, post ending scene where we just stand here looking epic. Man, this song makes me wish I had my record player. I have the Mass Effect vinyls, and this this is obviously the end song for the Mass Effect 1 disc, but I don't know why it makes me think of that, but... Whoa! Thank you, Bauer. This is my first um, legendary Mass Effect 1 uh, playthrough ending. I love this game. <laughs> And I, I learn so much every time I play it. Well, and I remember so much every time I play it. But um, I'm so glad I was able to end it on a nice <laughs> on a nice monitor. I'm gonna come back to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not. I, I usually like soliloquize at the end of a of a series, I guess. But um, as I hopefully mentioned before, I will not be playing the DLC because it doesn't really offer much for Mass Effect. Not for this DLC. Bring down the sky for Mass Effect One. Um, also, oh shoot, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, oh, potentially, and I will be very, very upset, but I was warned, and I have vague recollections after being warned that this is a thing, and I'm not sure if it's been fixed in the Legendary Edition, but if you do finish the missions like the Minerals, uh, Tally's Geth thingamajig, um, and like the Insignias and stuff like that, um, if you finish those after you've been booted out of the Citadel, um, you won't get the bonuses in Mass Effect 2. Uh, the game won't recognize that you did them. Um, so, and I have a, I have a vague, like, oh, I think you're right, because someone warned me, like, just recently about that, and I was like, oh, crap, I think somebody else warned me about that ages ago, but I didn't remember. Um, so if that's the case, I'll be very sad, because we spent, like, four hours almost doing that on stream the other day, and, uh, so hopefully it works out, but if it doesn't, yeah, it's all good, you know? Because um, I, I also don't think I got the achievement. Let's actually see. We can check my achievements really quick. Because I don't think when I checked after getting the minerals thing that I got the 75% um, or like complete the majority of the game. So we did, we got that. We completed the game on any difficulty. Oh. Oh, okay, so this unlocks, but having getting this means that I can have any weapon talent for all subsequent characters on this profile. Interesting. 
Kill a thousand enemies, nice. Got the paramour. Complete, yeah, complete. We've completed Mass Effect 1 on Insanity despite how much of a pain in the butt it was. Yeah, 75%. Oh, see, this, this is what I should have had because I completed the the minerals thing and everything else is like a big, big chunk of this. So that does make me think, like, I don't even get the achievement for it. Why do they even let you do anything? Like, why do they even let you do anything after, like, getting booted out of the Citadel? They should just, like... They should just, like, cut it off, essentially, if we're not gonna count it. Like, that's just lame. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe they'll let me modify. <laughs> I don't know if they will or not. I don't think Mass Effect has a way to... Mass Effect 2 has a way to modify your incoming save file, but I'm not gonna worry about it, because you know what? In the end, Mass Effect 2 is all about... A uh, thing. So. <laughs> and other things. It's probably my favorite of the series. but And Mass Effect 3 is actually my number two favorite of the series. Um, but Mass Effect 1 will always hold a special place in my heart. So, anyway. This has potentially gone on for long enough. Um, thank you all so much for watching and putting up with all the stuff. Hopefully Mass Effect 2 will be smooth as silk. Uh, I say that, knock on wood. Um, but... I want to give a real quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you to all my patrons, especially to my sapling patrons, Scalamonger, thank you so much, and to Reese Galito, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is super awesome and the greatest. And thank you so much. Again, thank you all so much for your help and your support. I appreciate it a lot. And I hope to see you in the next series. <laughs>